A new business owner in Albuquerque may throw in the towel before her business even gets going, and she blames thieves. News 13's Alexa Skineski has her story. Angry is not even the word to describe, to, to emphasize just how upset I am. For a business owner, seeing this is heartbreaking. You go to bed, you hold your breath, um, you wake up at 3 in the morning stressing out of what you're going to walk into. And Letitia Leba knows that heartbreak all too well. I tried to bring a new concept to Albuquerque, and this is what I'm dealing with. She opened the Groove Boutique in Uptown three weeks ago. It was very exciting to finally see what I had always envisioned actually done. But since then, it's been one disaster after another. Three break-ins in just three weeks, the latest one just last night. It's hard for us small business owners to even stay in business at this point because it's just happening so often. The break-in started just days before their grand opening. Someone shattering the glass, but thankfully getting away with nothing. It was disheartening. It was disheartening because we weren't even open yet and we're already experiencing this. Then thieves struck again last week. You see here a man throwing rocks through the front door. He takes his time. He's not scared. He's not even worried about the cops coming. And shortly after, he doesn't leave empty handed. But it's what happens after this break in that was even worse. Within 30 minutes, I guess word gets out around um, the homeless population in the area. And throughout that night, we get looted five separate times by five separate um, homeless people. The thieves she believes were homeless, getting away with $5,300 in merchandise. A hit to her business that she spent $300,000 of her own money on. I feel like we're, as small business owners, just sitting ducks and we're, no one's hearing us. Now she's not sure what the future holds. If Groove is going to even be here next week, I, I can't tell you that. Alexis Gineski, KRQE News 13. Leba says after a meeting with APD today, surveillance cameras tied to the real-time crime center will be installed in the area. She says she and other uptown business owners will be voicing their concerns to city council.